What's up YouTube, it's Kiki Chopper 22 here with another review, and today I'm going to be reviewing my bootleg G phone I have right here today, or tonight in this case. Um, before I start, I just want to apologize for not reviewing anything. I know it's been a while, I've been caught up with a lot of things for the summer, been in summer camp, trying to make new friends, just moving into this new apartment, you can probably tell right here, and, um... I was gonna say, oh yeah, all my um, Pinder stuff, they're packed up in a box somewhere in storage, I'm not sure where they're at, which kind of sucks, because I was hoping to get to them and just, you know, open them up and started checking them to see if they'd still work or whatever. Um, updates on my Pinder, on Pinder Samurai, um, in my opinion, I think it's pretty, I think it's pretty good. Season 1 was pretty cool, Season 2, uh... It was okay. Um, merchandise that I have, barely any. I have the two morphers and one of the um, semi morphing figures. But hopefully, for my birthday, which is next month, I can get at least the Megazord order weapon or something. So anyhow, starting with the review. Um, the growl phone was used by the first five Waffles Rangers, and it, it consists of the main morpher itself. Now, mines, as you can probably tell by the five heads, it's not the Japanese version. I'm telling you, it's not. Um, it's actually a bootleg or a knockoff I got a few years back, like I just like I think whenever Dino Thunder was out, the Dino either Dino Thunder or SPD was still out, I'm not sure. But yeah, it looks very close to the Japanese version as a kid I didn't even realize it was the Japanese version until I saw a review on it. So this com this came with the um growl phone itself. Oops, growl phone itself in the five with the webcam. Five. Sorry. Five and ten covers. There for the Black Ranger. Oops, Red Ranger. Oops, sorry, Blue Ranger. Yellow Ranger. Oops. And the White Ranger, and lastly the Red Ranger. Now the American version that we got, <coughs> it was like this, except that. The one we had was molded on, of course, couldn't take this off, and for some reason this was cut off, didn't have the teeth, so we opened it up, get that. Um, I lost the wing to mine, because I, I was playing with it and it fell out or something. The wings can come out, I had to make another one, obviously, but... Kinda sucks, but oh well. Now the electronics in this thing are completely different from the Japanese kind of part. So how this would work is you have the center button right here, which is to morph. Let me just. Is that I'm sorry, I haven't. I'm not used to using those webcam as much anymore. Right here is the call button. The cancel or hang up button, the main keypad, and probably can't even see it, let me just, uh, see it says Gal Ranger, it has the pound, the star and pound button, so, start off with, of course, the call, um, the sounds are a little low, but bear with me on this, and the lights do not work, which kind of sucks, but whatever, so, Press this button. I think you can just kind of speak so you can hear it. You like a generic cell phone sound or something? And the red button right here, you get a. Don't cancelling song kind of button or whatever. 
Um, That's about it for the keypad and push this thing. Just get that. And she morphed. You get this like little song or whatever. So, wild access. And that's all for the electronics. Of course, yeah, like I said, they were completely different than the actual thing, so, um, to turn into the, now, this thing also has the little animal feature, so if you want to turn into the animal, you can do that. Um, and pull these out, like so. And you have the lion. Awkward with a lion. Um, and you can also take this off and put in the um, white tigers. Not really much different. And for some reason, why you seeing it to like shove it in there? <sighs> and next, the main feature that everybody kind of like wanted in the growl film because they thought it was pretty cool that you can change some animal or whatever. Now the hardest thing about this thing is yeah. Wanna, you have to know what you're doing to put all this back in there. So, just pull out these lit. Wait. Pull out this right here. Fold it out. Have the wings. <sighs> Sorry, it's like midnight where I'm at. <laughs> Need that. There's the eagle. Pretty cool. Really wish I hadn't have lost the thing. So let's take this out. Blue Ranger, my favorite Ranger. I'm just gonna leave it there. I don't care. So you just fold this out. Oh, oops, open it up. Pull it out like that. And just pull out the legs. And there you have the sharp resort. I don't know what these back legs were for. And you transform into the. Oh, yeah. Oh, excuse me. Test form into the human mode, you pull these out. Like so. Pull these out. And you put this rubber silver piece up like so. Turn the arms around. Oops.
there you have the human mode. Oops. His articulation in his arms. My legs and arms are a little loose because this is pretty old. And this is what, some, for some reason, this is what their growl phone or G phone turn into whenever after they morph, and they and this turn into their range form or whatever. Here's that it says 2001, made in China. They got a hard out trickiest part to put it back in. You know what you're doing. And that's about it for my bootleg growl phone. Um, now, questions on whether to get the real growl phone, the Bandai American growl phone, or the G phone from Hakuji Sentai Gal Ranger. Honestly, it's all about what you want out of out of the morpher. If you just want a morpher just for looks or whatever, just to be the Red Ranger, and then you want to go get the growl phone because. I mean, honestly, it's not that bad of a morpher. Just missing a lot of the Japanese version of that. Um, now, if you want the option of being um, any ranger you want to, and like the whole, you know, idea of the growl phone transforming into uh, their animal forms or power animals, then get the G phone. But prepare, get ready to pay a heavy price to have it because I don't really see a lot of them anymore, so. Yeah, that's about it for my review. Um, I may review the Samurai or next. I'm not entirely sure. Kind of have a second thoughts of whether to review it or not. I don't know why I got it, but um, that's about it for my review. So yeah, stay tuned for more videos and more base covers. Oh yeah, base covers, base covers, base covers, base covers. Base covers. Oh yeah. Um. I've been learning a lot of songs, I've been doing a lot of things lately, so hopefully I can have a bass cover up by tomorrow, if I have time, because me and my friend are going to be Skyping and whatnot, so yeah, so stay tuned, and thanks for watching my videos, and I'll see you guys later.